Looking for cheap and reliable College 25 Ultimate Team coins? Head on over to MMO EXP and use code Poodle at checkout for 5% off your order. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another CFB 25 video. And today I'm going to be going over a pretty cool method to upgrade abilities basically whenever you want and kind of cheese the ability system. Now, before we do get into the video, guys, as always, if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, turn on that noti bell, and of course, like the video, guys. You guys have been killing it with the likes. Can we get Let's go for a thousand likes in this video. I know it's a pretty big goal, but you guys have been killing it. We, we get over a thousand views per video. Every one of you right now watching this clicks like, we'll easily get it. And you guys went crazy last time. Liking is a free and easy way to help the channel out. So I appreciate it each and every time you guys do like. So if you can do it for a quick second right now, that'd be great. And then of course, if you haven't already, check out Underdog. Every Underdog sound up goes a long way in helping the channel out as well. And we're having a blast over there. We went through one week of CFP and NFL already. We had some pretty big hits. Underdog is running so many promotions in the month of September, basically every single day. I think it's every single day for the entire month. Profit boost, bonuses, free picks, free. It's basically free money. Go check it out. Sign up with my code to help me out as well. And if you do sign up, hit me up on Twitter and let me know. It's, I always appreciate it when you guys hit me up and we can go cook up some picks over there as well. So if you guys don't already know how to upgrade abilities, I do have an entire video going over it and breaking it down. But in short and simple terms, if you guys haven't checked that out, I recommend doing it. But if we go to some of these players and we click on them, you click Y on them or triangle if you're on PlayStation. Head on over to abilities or in the bottom right corner, you can see where my face cam is. Those are all the physical abilities you can get, plus the two you can't see. And then we have the mentals. So right now, the player is too low of an overall slash has not unlocked his ability. So right now, he has the potential to get hammer, wrap up, blow up, grip breaker, and inside disruptor. But he needs to get a higher overall as well as to use XP. So to get abilities, players upgrade them with XP. So when you accrue XP, a player could do a few things. They could spend it on their stats. Or they expend on abilities. This is how people have commented how they end up with a 99 overall player that has no abilities, or how they have a player in the 85s that has a lot of abilities but hasn't been upgrading, or a player where they say he's hit every threshold. Why isn't the abilities upgraded? Exact same situation. They choose when they upgrade them. You have less control, less variance. Now, the weird thing here is I thought that was cool across the board because okay, yeah, so everything's random. I like that. No, no meta build. But then they added the ability to upgrade to change ratings, which is technically in every game, so I'm not upset about it. But at that point, you may as well add the ability to change abilities, right? But neither here nor there. People are asking, is there a way to just force upgrade them? So there actually is. So right now, when a player goes to upgrade, you see IQ takes two. Pass rush takes two here. Pass coverage takes two. Every time this guy gets abilities, he could throw it at stats. Once these stats are maxed out, he's basically forced to go ahead and upgrade abilities. But in the meantime, he's going to go back and forth with what he wants to do. What you can do, and something I've been working with, if you want to make sure your freshmen have abilities now there's two ways to do this i'm not going to go into the morals of how you do this and should you or shouldn't you there's a few ways to do this here one way is take a picture of the player's ratings beforehand right go to more go to the player's ratings go to edit players and go take a screen recording of all his stats if you want to be legitimate about it before you go and change these then you can go back and reset them if you don't care and you just want and you're just putting your players up anyways this is a great way to get abilities so basically you can go through and give him everything, right? Make him a max 99 overall player. You're going to want to do this and make sure there's not anything he can upgrade. So basically, you want to, you want to really do his important stuff. Uh, I'm just doing it all for the sake of just going through quickly. But you want to be going through and making sure you're upgrading everything that would impact the throw under pressure. Break sack. Just make sure you're going through and impacting everything that would help a defender out and all of his stat caps, right? You can go look at them before this. If you go check out his stat caps, you'll see exactly what he needs to max out. And we'll go take a look at this right after, but you'll see, you'll know exactly what he needs. So let's say we do this and we upgrade him and we come on back. This guy is now a 99 overall. And if you go check this out, he still has no abilities, right? But if you go to his ratings, he's completely capped out besides pass coverage. So you want to go back in and you want to do this again. Like I said, you want to make sure you have him. Now, by the way, this also does break his stat caps. So keep that in mind as well. So we're going to come on down and it looks like he just needs a little bit more in pass coverage to finish himself off. And there we go. Let's come on back out. And you should now have absolutely maxed out everything. And at this point, as you see, there's nowhere for him to spend XP. This is very, very important. There's nowhere for him to spend XP. So essentially, every point he gets has to go towards abilities. So the way you could do this is A, A you, could, you could sim the season here. And you could let him get the stats. And you can keep him at 99. You can make beasts this way. There's a way to get a, If you want to max him out, there's a way to do it. But if you had screen recorded, right? If you screen recorded or screenshotted these stats before, what you can do is let him get some of his early abilities and then you can go back. And I say this because I get it. Right now you have a, you had a five star, let's say linebacker who was a 76 overall. He's supposed to be really impactful, but he got no abilities. All his physicals are locked. And I've, I've seen firsthand 
I went through all four seasons plus a red shirt where these basically stay bronze or maybe or maybe silver at best because or they don't even upgrade some of them sometimes wrap up may never unlock because the player just keeps upgrading his IQ his awareness like you don't need his awareness I mean player X good but or a linebacker is upgrading their pass rush you don't need a middle linebacker with some pass rush so I can see where that gets annoying so you can always cap some of these out and just lock them that way they can't use them so from here on out what you want to do is is go through and you can sim a season and see how this is going to work this is a great way to do this in like a, a red shirt type season now remember they do need xp to upgrade the ability so do keep in mind when doing this it's not like you could just leave them on the bench and then do this you do still need xp with them so if you're actually playing the games you can just go in and put them in on those red shirt weeks and make sure you get a lot of um, do blitzes get sacks get xp with them make sure you're getting xp or at least bare minimum if you're going to start them for their freshman season this is if you want to just go through now you can also play with them this is all up to you but this is a way to ensure that they actually spend on abilities all right so we sim through the season we went back we actually did get fired which was i, I always hate when i'm doing a sim and i get fired because then i gotta go back to my team anyways we sim through the season as you see Corey shorter nine and over a linebacker was in fact forced to upgrade three straight abilities and if you know anything about this game you can go a whole off season with only upgrading one or none he cannot spend any points on his stats so he's literally forced to spend on his abilities so keep in mind this was with simming which means he may not have gotten too much xp he may have had a generic type season so that's fine if you actually play the games and you do mid blitz or you do linebacker blitzes where you're just getting him sacks tackle for losses you're using him you're, or you're just doing a redshirt season where you're trying to stat pad in the sport games. If you actually play that redshirt or regular freshman season, this guy could accrue so much XP. Now, I do want to say something here. Keep this in mind. This is the linebacker we're talking about. You do this with a quarterback or a running back or a wide receiver or a tight end, guy that you could like stat pad to, to oblivion, you could do so much damage here. Let's say you have a freshman quarterback. He gets magician, option master, uh, whatever, whatever all those abilities are, right? The best ones. Feel, he is field general mental. Like he's built to be a beast, but you just need to get those physical abilities up. But you need them, right? For your freshman season two and on. You can make him a 99, play through that first season, and just stat pad like 70 touchdowns, 7,000 yards, Heisman season. We're in Heisman, rookie of the year. This guy is going freshman of the year. He's going to get 100 XP points. He's going to have an insane year. You may come out of that, that sim and see that player have all gold all platinum everything unlocked then you go back to the next season bring him back to earth bring him back to like maybe you know bring him back to like an 85 to make it fair bring it back down to like let's say he was a 76 bring him to an 85 after that season 84 bring him back down to what you saw plus a little extra and now you're looking at michael vick lamar jack especially if it's a running quarterback like you're gonna have everything mahomes you're gonna have an insane beast player and this applies to running backs wide receivers as well the way you could stat pad them and i say this because abilities are king in this game having a running back with 97 speed and 97 excel if he doesn't have shifty any of those juking abilities sidestep uh the toughness building if he doesn't have any of that or like bulldozer for a trucking back you don't have any of that stuff they're not gonna truck as well as they should now i will say cfp is a lot better than madden with this they still play pretty well but like if you don't have headstrong on the mentals which is important and on the physicals if you don't have like option master or you don't have magician or the things that whatever makes you run fast in the backfield if you don't have all those types of abilities there's a few things that you won't be as ops like Jalen moreau is as good as he is because he has the stats and the abilities to match back it up right so just saying this is an insane method to just kind of get your players max and abilities and this is a situation this is something you can't touch this is something that you can't actually do unless you unless the game gives it to you so this is a great way to force it but that is about it guys you can go back now at this point and go take this back off the player bring it back down obviously i didn't screenshot for the purpose of this video uh he's kind of a lost cause at this point the odds of me getting him back down to where he was are, are much lower but you can see basically how much easier it is to get these guys back down if you could just it'll, it'll take you a second as long as you have the the screenshot it won't be too hard and also i changed a lot of stuff that didn't need to be changed like i said for the most part doing a few a few simple few simple abilities that are actually a part of his archetype like play rec tackling hit power would be enough I kind of just went overboard to make sure I guaranteed myself the 99, which again, doesn't matter. You don't have to go that crazy on it. And it makes it a lot harder to take it back down. So let's bring this guy back to earth and let's keep going. And you'll see pretty quickly where we stand with these abilities. And what you'll notice too here, right? When you go to, when you go to this player, let's go back to, I believe he's a middle linebacker and go look at his abilities. He still has them. Now, why is that important? That is important because they're, remember their thresholds on these abilities must have a 87 hit power to get it silver you must have this that this and that right so keep in mind now if you do play with him back at his decreased overall 
make sure you at least place them in a position to still upgrade abilities what you know so on and so forth but keep that in mind they don't lose them because that would be the next thing like, oh yeah you got them now they're gonna lose them no he keeps them it's kind of like a, when you get a recruit with platinum they, they keep those they don't not get them because they're not of overall and there you go this guy's back to normal his stat caps are back to normal so you don't destroy the player it's not like you broke their stat caps permanently and the player doesn't make sense no you're back to let's say the 76 whatever you bring him to you're back to the 76 now you have his abilities now you're back on and good to go with the guy now you can start a sophomore se sophomore season with the abilities that you needed and he can still keep growing like i said for the sake of you're technically ruining his freshman season you can go ahead and just throw on if he was a 76 make him an 82 make him an 83 84 bring him up to speed of where he should have been after his freshman season and you're, you're cooking you're cooking after that but that's been it guys i hope you guys did enjoy this video if you're new to the channel hit that subscribe button let's get to 30k hopefully we're there by the time you're seeing this and of course if you haven't already give this video a big thumbs up can we get a thousand likes i think this this method's pretty cool can we get a thousand likes on this video and of course guys if you haven't checked out underdog make sure to do it so many promos this month you don't want to miss it's going to be a great month for everyone i feel like everyone's going to end up positive on this month go check it out my, i always post my picks over on twitter so make sure you follow me over there use my code it will be down below and if you do please let me know i appreciate it when you guys do thank you guys for watching i'm out peace